So I was talking about my first meeting with Howie Benno and how we wrote the song Red, which would become a huge single for us. It was such an important song. Now I needed some place to record it. My boyfriend had a contact in Chicago with someone named Reed Himes. And Reed Himes owned, partly owned, Chicago Tracks Recruiting Studio in Chicago. And um, I met him. I had it. I I I was set up with an appointment with him, and I met him, and I played him the demo version of Red that we had done in Howie's apartment, and uh, he instantly offered me a spec situation. Uh, a spec situation at a studio is when you get um, to use the studio time that's downtime. When the studio isn't being used, like say 3 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock in the morning, there's nobody in there, you can use those four hours on your spec deal because it's not being used anyway. And then basically what would happen is we would go in on these off hours like that in the middle of the night and record and then there would be like a tally of all the hours that I used. Well. Howie and I kept writing, and then my friend Jim Marcus, who is an extraordinarily talented producer and writer as well, he was best known for his work in Die Warza, the band Die Warza, and uh, I wrote a song with him, and suddenly it started to look like a record. Uh, I was doing one song after another, and they were all really good, and it was coming together, and $17,000 worth of recording studio time on spec, I had an EP, and it was great. It was really special. I, I have to say that I, I really think that it was the best stuff that we'd ever done. And um, so the next thing I needed to do with Howie was to come up with a name for the project. And so we go to this diner, and uh, Howie flippantly says, we should call ourselves Salt Lick. And I said, you know, at this point, I just didn't even care. And I was like, okay, we'll call ourselves Salt Lick. He's like, no, Stella, you can't call yourself Salt Lick. I was just kidding. And as he was saying that, there was a TV um, up, up in the corner of the diner, and this suntan lotion commercial comes on. It was this bikini clad, super tan woman walking around in Saint-Tropez and this song comes on. Then de soleil for the Saint-Tropez tan. And I was like, ben de soleil, ben de soleil, 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 sister soleil, sister soleil. Sister Soleil, what about that? And how it was like, that's pretty good. I could go for that. So, so that is when we became Sister Soleil. Me and Howie became Sister Soleil in a diner, and I stole the name from a suntan commercial. 